guys welcome to my channel my name is Yasser and this is my youngest sister Florence she's going to help me in this video and I'm basically going to do some very quick protective style braids and if you cannot grip hair uh, this is the style for you it's so quick it only took us uh, well it took me like one hour to do the braids and it took my sister about 15 minutes to do the parting the reason I asked her to do it was because I knew if I do the partings for the braids by myself it was going to take me forever and to be honest i was feeling kind of lazy and she was around so i just asked her to do them for me if you have someone around the house then please ask them to do it because it just saves you a lot of time if you don't then girl just get in the mirror and do it by yourself and it really doesn't matter how the patterns look like like it's just about you and how you feel like so we did like really really large braids like at the back we did like three sections so those are going to be three braids as you can see that my sister is doing right now and we're basically just using uh it's called shine jam i'll put a picture of it so you can see it but it's called shine jam and we're just basically using that as uh, a moisturizer and also like a gel type of thing it's not like a stronghold gel it's like basically a gel that you use to do your braids and then in the front section we did uh five braids and then in the middle section we did a line that we divided into i think uh, about seven braids so it's not a lot of work and as you can see i wanted like a little triangle in the front and i'm those annoying people who like i know how i want something to look like so i'm always like going back and forth like this is how you should do it kind of thing so that's what i was trying to do and my younger sister is so patient and she's so cool and cute as you can see <laughs> so she just does what i asked her to do and so like still doing the same thing adding the shine jam and we're using rubber bands because i'm really not the best at, at doing like braids that are going to last me a while i think you can wear this style for like two or three weeks depending on what you feel like as you can see still using like a rubber band to grip everything so we're going to do all the sections before i start doing the braids i did the braids by myself uh, my sister did not help me do them because they are pretty pretty easy to do so we're using some black rubber bands i'd suggest you use black rubber bands especially if the braiding hair that you're going to use is also black if it's not then of course uh, do whatever you feel like when you tie the rubber bands don't tie them too tightly because if you do then you're going to pull out your hair so just do them in a way where like your hair is still not too tight because otherwise it's not a protective style if you're pulling your hair too much you guys know that I love doing protective styles. I usually basically do like a style like once a week. Like on the weekend, I'll just do like a hairstyle and I'll wear that throughout the week, which is why I upload a video once a week. Like one thing I've really been getting into is like like different things that help you do your hair or manage your hair. So I think I'm probably going to do like a, a few reviews or a few, of a few tools or hair tools that I use to style my hair and just honestly, a few things that I'm curious about that I see like either advertising of or I see other girls trying so I'll buy a few things try them out and also share that with you guys which reminds me on Friday so this Friday I'm going to upload a video of like a hair straightening brush that I got and I have not tried it but it's just arrived from Amazon and I want to try it and share that with you guys so make sure you check that out on Friday so this is the hair that I'm using it's from Afri Nat Natural and it's the Aruba Twist and this is what it looks like so it has like uh 32 i think my no it has like 24 pieces in each box and what i'm doing is i'm putting three pieces together for each section as you can see right now i'm just putting it together and this is how i'm going to do the braid it's not a lot as you can see since we have the rubber band already we just use the hair and we create three legs so as you can see you're using three sections now and you're just going to braid it from there I mean just watch it it's so easy to do guys like I cannot believe like I never did my braids like this before so I'm just doing like a regular way that you would do a normal braid and then as my hair is getting towards the end what I'm doing is I'm taking like a section from each side so now I'm going to divide it and I'm going to have like three of the braiding I mean two of the braiding hair on each section as you can see so as you can see now we have like two for each section 
and then I'm going to continue braiding until I get to where my hair ends because I'm not going to braid like past that <laughs> so if you have long hair then probably this is going to take longer for you if you have shorter hair perfect it's going to take even shorter amount of time than it did for me and just to make sure that the uh, that the braid stays secure I'm going to take a little section and I'm going to tie the end of it like so I'm going to show you like the other ones how I do it so if you want to see more to learn how to do it then keep watching I'm just going to repeat this again in sort of like not a too fast and it's just like so it's pretty simple like for some reason the hair at the front of my head is longer than the other places on my head and the hair at the middle so this one like the braid i had to braid for a little bit longer than the other ones but still the same concept so easy to do my god like guys like this rubber band method is like the bomb.com like i should have learned this a long time <laughs> and doing large braids as a protective style i think it's really really amazing because you can wear this for two to three weeks depending on how you take care of your hair make sure you moisturize your hair by the way when you have them in braids because some people do forget to moisturize their hair so as you can see pretty easy tying that again I'm going to show you a few more and then I'll just take uh, a break and do everything off camera because it's usually so much faster for me to do things off camera uh, than doing them on camera By the way, if you're new here, thanks for coming by guys. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel because the channel is growing and it's really, really quite exciting to see all the new people, to read all the awesome comments. Like I really, really appreciate it. And I've been getting like people sending me like their pictures on Instagram or on Facebook uh, of the styles that I, they saw me doing and they've tried it. And that is so exciting for me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I go by underscore yes or K. It's the same for Facebook. I'm going to leave them linked down below in the description bar and if you want to know where to get the hair I'm also going to leave it linked down below in the description bar if you want to check that out and uh, That is pretty much it. This is what the style looks like after I did all the braids as you can see they're really big and Yeah, it's really quick. It took me about an hour like I had a little break in between so it would have probably taken me about 45 minutes if I was not doing this stupid thing that I was doing <laughs> while I was braiding my hair just cutting the little flyaways that I think are going to get tangled really quickly and after that I'm going to put and after that I'm going to pull the hair into a ponytail and just style it from then So I'm going to use a tie to tie my hair. I don't want to use like a round uh, hair tie because I feel like I'm going to pull my hair with that. That's why I'm just using like one long one and I'm going to basically tie it around instead of using like a regular hair tie. I'm pulling it to the top of my head because I wanted it to sit there. You can pull it to whatever section that you want. As you can see, since we used curly hair, it just looked like a pineapple uh, bun, which is cute. I really like it. And I did not tie it too tightly. Again, don't pull your hair, girl, because otherwise this is not a protective style. A protective style is supposed to basically keep your hair protected and not be pulling on your hair. So I decided to sort of like separate some of the curls here but i kind of stopped in the middle because i realized like the longer i wear the style the frizzier it's going to get so i'm just going to let it stay that way but if you want it to be bigger then definitely separate the curls more if that's what works for you and just because i wanted it to look more neat i took a, a, maybe one or two pins and i basically pinned some of the section um just to keep it in place the way where i wanted it to stay oh my god Oof, I'm talking so much but <laughs> this is what it looks like so just to add a little bit of extraness to it like I'm going with these earrings a pop of red to add to the red lipstick and the red nails <laughs> 
and then because I'm extra and you know it if you're not new here I'm going to go in with this little gold and silver cuffs and I'm going to add that to my hair to accessorize them more I feel like they just add like a little bit of an oomph to the style and it just makes it look more professional if that makes sense or that's just me I don't know but I think it does and I love like this little cuffs I I don't know, you just add a certain genesis quad to everything that you do. But this is what it looks like. And I'm feeling myself, my God, Jesus. <laughs> the way I'm feeling myself with these braids, and I can't believe it only took me like such a short amount of time to do them. Like, Jesus. Like, Cheesy Dorosi, like if you follow her, you cannot talk to me anyhow. And that's how I'm feeling right now. Thanks for coming by the channel, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs it up and also leave a comment down below about what you like about the style and if you'll be trying it. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on that video. Thanks for coming by the channel, guys. Bye.